it could all happen in this one episode. We could be on positive figures. Now, wouldn't that be something? Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with Bolton and yes you did hear me correctly we are just one point away from getting well wiping out the 12 points and uh, two points really away from going into positive figures and uh, that would really be an achievement and a half considering we were relegated last season we have put a good bunch of players together Granted, some of them were already transferred in. We just made a couple of more adjustments and we're just finding our feet with our better players. The youth players just aren't hacking it at the moment. But we do welcome one youth player, Dion McGee. He is from Manchester United. He is a left winger. He can play in the centre as well. And he, well, he actually can play all across the whole of midfield. But we're going to use him as a left winger. We want to give Valinden a break now and again. If he can play on the right-hand side with politics. So McGee can play on the left-hand side together with Buckley. But look at these stats for young McGee. He's 19 years old. I mean, that's not bad stats at all, considering, is he? Really. I mean, he's got a not bad pace and acceleration. He's still a long way to go, but like he's only 18 years old there. Determination, 14. Again, 14. Determination seems to stand out quite a lot with all these younger players. First touch, 13. Crossing, 13. And corners, 14. It's good. We played one game. We played the leasing.com against Mansfield. It was, um, well, we were all over him. We should have made it count, but this was the goal that settled it, really. Mal Benning on 55 minutes. Benning just comes in on the left-hand side and just whacks it in. I mean, totally outdid our defence. It was just unfortunate, really, he went and uh, scored when he did. But we were on top of this game. We just could not make the breakthrough. Uh, Dudu had a chance in the last couple of minutes of the game when he came on. Uh, he just ploughed it straight into the goalkeeper, which was uh, equally disappointing. We're going to have Bosson in goal. We've got uh, Bunny right, and Edwards comes in for Hobbs. Hobbs is just... He's just too slow. Ed, we just want to nurture Edwards a little bit more. Emmanuel on the right hand side. We've got Weir and Lowe in the centre. We've got Partex, Crawford and Verlinden. McGee may get his chance, but not today, because uh, he did play in midweek, so he's ineligible to play. And we've got Dudu up front. He hasn't scored in a few games. We could do with a couple of um, goals from him today. Although any goal would be nice. We'll just change this back down to 2D. There we go. As um, Rotherham in the red. Kicking right to left. Uh, Edwards does intercept it though. Nicely done. Rotherham on the attack. Slattery with a corner. And uh, straight into the arms of Boss, who's in charge of that six-yard box. And he's really good when he plays when he's on his game. And we need his expertise this season. Uh, corner ball, Valinda. Cross comes in. Dudu's on the back post, not quite connecting as sweetly as he has been at the beginning of the season. It just seems to have gone off the rails a little bit. But uh, he'll get his confidence back as uh, we... Uh, well, that's really poor goal to give away. That is absolutely poor. I'm not sure whether Bossman was um, unsighted or something, but that was, uh, that was poor. Blazer, cross comes in right with a poor header, and uh, it's, he just pushes it into the goal. Wills, or Wiles, or Willies, with the goal there. Rotherham picking up, uh, well, they're into third position as it stands in. If we can get something out of this, it would really be interesting and really be good for us, especially as a confidence booster. But we just want to survive this season. We can get to double figures and start chasing the pack down, which we are doing at the moment. It would be nice to get to uh, positive figures this episode because, um, well, why not? But Linden, he just does it. He's injured. Oh, no, that's his third goal of the season. It doesn't matter, but he's injured, and that is what we do not want to see. I don't think we've got anybody out left. Buckley can come in, actually, can't he? I guess. What's Villinden done? But that's very well played, though. Drags it to the right-hand side. And, wow, did that hit the middle of the goal? Goalkeeper was definitely unsighted there. But it's a goal all the same. And we just equalised just before half-time. And uh, and speaking of just before half-time, Rotherham are coming forward again and straight into the arms of Bossin. And uh, that's... Um, 
that'll do nicely. Then uh, we're looking nervous. We and politics is looking very nervous, and Valinda's just injured. I don't know what's wrong with Valinda. We're going to have to have a quick look, aren't we? What's he done? Please say it's nothing. Potential groin injury. Oh, that could put him out for a yonks. Um, we're going to have to take him off. We cannot take the risk. Uh, efforts are excellent. They were. Uh, can we just change him now? We just have to take him off. We're going to have to bring Buckley. Campo, he's uh, useless on that right and uh, left hand side, so we're not going to be playing him. Darcy, want to bring him in, but uh, Crawford is playing a shallow striker this time. Don't go too far forward. We cannot. Um, we're leaving it wide open between the forward and the um, midfield. We don't want that to happen. Buckley comes forward. First chance on the board to Bunny, who um, played a little bit of ping pong there with his with the right back, but not getting the ball back. Emmanuel, first yellow card of the season. That's not great either. And that's ball over the top. Edwards is just, well, it's a good stop by Bossen, but I think it was going wide anyway. But Edwards, I think it was done there, I, th I feel. Bar laser now. Is he going to laser that ball in? He does. He doesn't find his man though. Can we chase that down? Rob some of the ball. Plays it over to Willis or Wiles. And a good interception by Lowe. And we're coming forward. We're actually breaking forward. I mean, okay, it's not the quite the break I was expecting. It's as if they can't run. We need more money. That's what we want. We want some sponsorship money because we haven't got an awful lot. I think I don't think we're getting that much. A hundred grand or something daft like that. Really put. Oh, we do have a shot on goal though. Which is nice. Was that politics? And Dudu's steering the goalkeeper down again. And that's another interception. Dudu now on the ball. He's uh, forgets the ball this time and it's offside. Really? I don't think it was. We're making um, Rotherham work for it. We could do with a couple of more changes though. I'm going to bring in uh, Grady. We could do with another forward. But the transfer window's gone now. I think we was more concentrating on this section here. Uh, Luke Murphy into the centre. Uh, low. We are who's playing the worst at these guys it is we are sorry my friend you're coming off i know if you can play there instead can you play anything else deep actually you can go deep line for a change you can go on support yeah let's do that 10 minutes to go we're staying on positive we're gonna say get creative but we're gonna play cautious a little bit as well we're on the ball as it is let's see if we can hit them on the break a point will do us no end of good and uh, Murphy on the ball plays it out wide to Emmanuel. Cross coming in, surely? No. No. Three minutes of added time. It's a corner board. No way. I thought he knocked the ball out. Slattery crosses it and that's headed over the bar. And uh, we do escape it there. Rotherham will be wanting to win this one. But we're not as soft as we look. We may be relegation contenders, but we are doing a job here. That's a ball down the line. The goalkeeper should uh, pick that up, Everson. Time's up, referee. Kick the ball. And uh, who, who's that number seven? <laughs> Buckley. He was, st he was uh, staring down that goalkeeper. Rotherham won. Bolton won. A good result. Seven games in, and we are on zero points. 12 points have been knocked out. Just like that. And we've got... 39 games remaining so we've got ample time to lift ourselves off the bottom there's no reason why we shouldn't we've got lost one game and we're sitting bottom of the table that doesn't generally happen does it but 12 points that would see us into uh, eighth position top 10 and at least anyway Accrington did lose to Sunderland in the end who are favorites and uh, well actually they're in the position but we are in fact they're doing exactly what we're doing the Linda's injured he's going to be out for a few days um it could work he could be back so what I'm going to do right this minute I am going to rest all our players now we want Vlinden fit uh, rest guys you can take a rest Oxford up next guys so what we'll do we'll see you guys in a few seconds we're back at the University of Bolton we're gonna have Boston in go we've got Manuel Edwards right and Bunny right I'm still on the fence with he's a good player I'm not gonna lie but he has made a few horrific headers We've got Murphy and Lowe in the centre. We've got McGee, who's going to make his league debut. Darcy in the centre and politics on the right. The Linden's still not fit, so he's going to be missing this game, unfortunately. But we, And then we've got Dudu up front. We have got Callum King Harmes, another double-barrelled name. 17 years old. He was uh, advised to move up into the first team. He might be of some use to us. And, you know, to be honest, acceleration and pace looks OK. Crossing is fine as well. Uh, determination is not the best though. It's the, I think it's the first one that's. Uh, I think that's the lowest we've got really on uh, determination. But he's quite got good flair and work rates are uh, quite good as well. We did use him and McGee 
in the Mansfield game and they did all right they did fine Oxford on the other hand they got Eastwood in goal who's this is that Ben from Liverpool really how on earth did they have him well look at that formation for a start they're hitting everybody behind the board so they are coming a little bit more um I think they're testing the water aren't they before we play them in Caraboa so let's move along and uh, let's see if we can get a result here they give the players a morale boost okay they're okay about it I guess as we kick off right to left this time right and Edwards having the ball each already and right so that's his third touch in as many minutes we have the ball on the left hand side Bonnie down the line McGee almost trying to get there trying to get in front of his man but not quite getting in it there and Brannigan comes forward Woodburn's looking in the center I think they're trying to play to him but Darcy intercepts to Dudu and uh, well Dudu just holds it up for Murphy and uh, he finds his way into the center and that's wow that's poor absolutely poor still inside the first 10 minutes and Woodburn's in on goal and wow he's missed it I didn't expect that and it's not the sort of play I even expect to uh, to um, see in this division though to be fair even on loan or not but we are trying to find our players it'd be nice to bring someone as big as Woodburn in Hopefully McGee might just do that. Oh, interception, dude. Oh, he's missed a sitter again. He's not having any luck at all. What on earth can we do to uh, get him a goal? Because he's not scored in a few games now. And I think his uh, morale is uh, going down the swanee. McGee with the uh, free. Oh, that's a save, is it? The goal kick, really? It's a good crossing by McGee, though. Up the field, please. Away, Bunny. Down the... No, that's a good interception by Dickey. And uh, we get an interception back by McGee. Well played, young lad. Young lad, young man. Darcy, thread it through. Do it. Oh, dear, oh, dear, 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 dear. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're going to have to have a look at this, uh, Dudu. See, what sort of... Um, well, what's he doing for starters? We just don't seem to... Well, he just can't get the ball in there. He's had a few chances already. Three one-on-ones, in fact. And hopefully we just don't get me to rue this and a, a shot on target. At least they're hitting the target. Do do. We're taking you off and we're gonna. Can Campo play there? It says he can. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Grady, he can't really do much apart. From, you know what? Go pressing forward. See what you can do. We can always haul you off if you don't do the job. Right. Okay. So we'll straight back in. I'm going to shout at them as well to get a little bit creative. And uh, do we really want to um, entice them on and hit them on the break? I think that's something we could do. As uh, Oxford come down the left hand side. It's a good into. Well, I thought it was a good block, a good tackle. And we're hauling down them very, very quickly. It's a good interception. We do get a little bit of a triangle going on down the line. Over the top. I've got the grade against there. I didn't think it. Oh my word, he's hit the post as well. And it looked like that Grady wasn't going to budge at all. Emmanuel does a, gets a beautiful header on that one into the centre. Murphy now, we are challenging in that centre. And I think we may have to drag the midfielder back. Because um, they are all over us. Darcy plays a beautiful ball over to Politic in the centre. And we, we just leave it in for them to clear it. This is what I'm not liking and what I'm seeing a lot more on this uh, version of Football Manager though. Everything else seems to clear it up but we don't seem to leave the ball in for the opposition. We're two points behind Accrington now. A win will see us above Accrington actually. Oxford coming down this left right hand side again. Politics thread the ball over to... He's gone great he's gone. Cross it? No you're not going to cross it. You're going to go for a run instead. Tries to take the players on and Woodburn holds it up that's a great ball to Fosu and uh, poor shot into Bossman's hands let's shout at them a little bit more over the top Grady's not the young man we want is it <laughs> unfortunately how old is he he's at what near in late 20s early 30s is he can't quite remember I think he's on the transfer list though right good play at the back and uh, unless uh, McG uh, Grady does something Oxford increasingly getting more and more confident there, passing the ball around. The, I can see the through ball, but Fossu's on goal and Bossin again commands that six yard box. It's his. Nobody's having it at all. 
Fosu now with a corner. We do get it away. Well done. Woodburn plays it back. We can't afford to have a... Um, we're going to go cautious a little bit. See if we can hit them on the break. See if that will work. Because Oxford are all over us at the moment. Buckley down that left-hand side. Well played, sir. Going into the box. Nobody's in there. Grady, get in that box. He's just too old, isn't he? Back post. Anybody. Corner ball. Terrific stuff by Buckley. It's a goal kick. That was a great run by Buckley, but nobody on the end of it. And I'm just kind of thinking I made a mistake by taking Dodo off. It's a good interception by Politic. And yes, uh, Grady's just uh, lost the ball there, didn't he? It's another great stop by Boston again. The goalkeeper's keeping us in it. We've had 15 shots on goal, apparently. I'm going to bring I'm going to bring Crawford in. Can you... Get Shadow Striker. Let's do it. Let's go for it. We're still playing cautious, and I'm playing uh, attacking football up top. Crawford on the ball, speaking of the devil. Over to the far side. Probably this could be the, a victory here. We do tend to uh, wear them all out, the opposition. Buckley on the boys played really well, Buckley. I think that... Oh, Crawford. We've had a shot on goal. That's our third shot on goal, would you believe? Ten minutes to go. And uh, Foster's coming at us again. And uh, it's gone wide. They've hit the side net. And they've had six shots or attempts on goal. We're into stoppage time. Almost four minutes. I've had a time now. I mean, how can that be? And this could be... Another, well, it could be another valid point or a valuable point. And Cadden comes forward and he spoke too soon and he just gets the winner. No. Oh, that is heartbreaking. 20 seconds to go. Second goal of the season. We held on for so long. Off the post and in. That's so unfortunate. The heads are down. And we've just gone. And um, that's another loss at home. Second loss at home on the bounce. Uh, unless we get something here, Grady. Oh, dear Lord. Right, OK, I've had enough. Grady, you've got to go. You're just no good at all. Wow, we've just been totally and utterly FM'd here. Well, saying that, they have had more of the opportunities. Is that 70, 60%, 70, 80% on target for uh, Oxford? And we do play Oxford again in the Carabao. But that is... Um, that's upsetting. We missed Verlinden. Absolutely missed him. But 1-0. Oh, a 94th minute winner. And we're back on zero points. Three points behind now. Accrington, five points. So we we're six points away from safety. Eight points, eight games in. So it was looking like we looked like we could have got into positive figures. Even with a draw. We can win 5-3 against Accrington. Wow, what a result. But it wasn't to be, guys. It wasn't to be. We fought a late defeat. We do indeed uh, send the assistant to that. Dodo vows to end. Gold drought. He's gone eight hours without scoring. It's not very good reading, is it? Not a good start to the month. We've got Sunderland and Oxford when we come back. So if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more new to the channel, please subscribe. Until next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.